In this video, we're going to focus on the clamp options in the Chart.js data labels plugin. And basically, with the clamp option, what you will do is the following. So you can see here, if you click on clamp here, by default, it is set on false. And this is a Boolean value. And what it does is it will get the values. And if by default, it's set on false. So it will just calculate the total width of the section of a bar chart or anything else however most commonly will be in bar chart or in line chart because there where you have the you can set a certain max height and width that you want to see so for example you want values only everything between a range of 1 till 10 and everything above 10 starts to hide basically it's out of the canvas in this case by default, clamping works like this, and then it will just continue on going. However, if you set clamp on true, what it will do is it will calculate or it will recalculate the visible space, and from there on, it will start to calculate the anchor part where to display it. And this can be useful only if you have a set uh, or a max height and max uh, minimum, what is that, the minimum value on the y scale. Well, let me show you first before we even continue on. So let's say here, we have this here, but we don't need to know anything above 10. Anything that is above 10 is basically not necessary. We know that it will be very positive, so we assume if, if it's 10 or above, it's considered as the same category as very positive, and everything between zero and 10 would be, we would like to know the exact number or make it visual. So how we can do this is, for example, this here. We go in here, in the y scale and in the y scale we can set these options here so we can say here min would be zero for example and max would be 10. what will happen is that the chart will now recalculate itself and as you can see it will go from one till ten only on the y scale so what's happening right now is the upper part just being is not visible why because clamping is not active clamping is set on default as false so this would mean that now the anchor point at the very top is here well or at least it's not visible anymore it's somewhere there we cannot see it so how can we solve this well we can do it with a clamping true it will recalculate what is visible and then it will uh, figure out that the very top that is visible that is the top then in case even if there would be more items here however if it's not visible at all, if the section of a bar chart is not visible at all, it will not recalculate it because there is no reason to recalculate if it's not visible within that specific section. All right, let's try and do some exploration here. So for example, here, what we're going to do is we're going to activate the clamping. So yeah, underneath of the text shadow, which is still under our data label section here, we will say here now, clamp, and we set this now on true. By default, it's set on false, so now we set it on true. And what is happening right now, as you can see, is now the clamping will be active here. Of course, it will chip away a part of the data label, depending on the amount of pixels here above. We can solve this as well. Basically, putting here in the outline. Uh, what is that? Where are we? And then the padding of, of the item here, offsets. Padding here, there you are. The layout, sorry, it's the layout padding. You just increase the padding amount, and there you are. So now it will be visible. So as you can see, now it becomes visible for us. However, this is basically what it does. So what would happen if we would remove a few items? Let's say we want everything between five, or let's say between four and ten. You only want to see those. Now max will be four. Okay, sorry, ten. And the minimum would be 4. If we save this now and refresh, as you can see here, the clamping will not recalculate anymore because it's just basically not possible to recalculate. And I guess here maybe we could even remove this. Remove this begin zero. It does for or it doesn't even uh, adjust. However, you can see the values are still visible, but there is no reason to readjust the clamping here. So basically, it, because it is out out of sight so in this case that it will not recalculate or we will not reposition it here at the very top on this part here where where it starts so this is the most important part will you use this much to be honest i never use this but you might have situations where you want to do that but to do that you need to make sure your y scale have a set minimum and maximum value here so it will 
start to activate. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.